We've been working on tiers since 2008. We're building it in-house at Goddard, and these last two months of testing, we ran three shifts a day to monitor the instrument 24-7. Because TIERS is a thermal instrument that measures temperature from space, we do our testing in a thermal vacuum chamber where we can control the temp and pressure. At the front of the chamber is our calibration equipment. Behind is the TIERS instrument. Both sit on top of a sled that slides out of the chamber. But before we move TIERS, we need to do a thorough inspection. Photographs document the layout of wires to see if anything is touching that shouldn't be. It only takes a little bit of accidental contact to add an extra heat load to the cryo cooler. Once satisfied with our inspection, we disconnect the wires and cooling lines from the instrument and the calibration equipment. Then we pull out the sled. else that's not doing anything is going to be monitoring, making sure we don't catch any harnesses, cables, or whatnot. We need someone in the back of the chamber to handle the connections on that side, too. They also help push the sled out. It doesn't feel that heavy, even though it's a lot of weight. The sled is engineered to roll pretty smoothly. As we work, we stay connected to a grounding wire to keep static electricity from damaging the instrument. We need to completely cover the equipment before we open the protective tent. This keeps dust and other particulates from contaminating or damaging the instrument. We'll move the whole platform down the hall with tiers still on top. The platform rides on a cushion of air, kind of like an air hockey table, or a hovercraft. It's pretty easy to steer, but we don't want to move too quickly and jolt the instrument. The important thing is safety, because we are moving hundreds of pounds of equipment. Once we get tears in the clean room, we can do the final touches and get on with the rest of our environmental testing. So far, Tears has done a beautiful job of providing the engineering team and the scientists with the data that they need. In many cases, we're exceeding our requirements, and that is very exciting. It's not only performing, but performing beautifully. <laughs>